Hey everybody, it's me. That's Jeff Stefan. No, that's Jeff Stefan over on that side. And uh, we're here doing an interview. Right off the top, I'm going to say Jeff and I have known each other for a long time. Um, a real long time. <laughs> So um, we go back to um, our, uh, our our youth screwing around days. So um, so yeah, uh, well, I think when you were nineteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was nineteen once. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, Jeff, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, wow. Um, there's not much to say. Uh, I'm 52. I build mainly Luftwaffe 148. Uh, I used to build a long time ago. And then I got out of the hobby for a long time. And then I found this guy's brother on Facebook, reconnected with Jim. And watched him. He he was back into the hobby by then, and I started watching him build, and it made me want to get into it. And I had um, I still had probably two or three kits in 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 storage, and a bunch of dried up paint. And about a year later, uh, I'm up to there and over here and you can't see it and I got some down below me and I got more paint than I'll ever use I got more kits than I'll ever build um, but I just went on a, a buying binge to get back into the hobby and and knowing then what I know now I probably would have taken it slower <laughs> a lot slower but I've, I've known this guy for like 30 some odd years um I could probably incriminate him in some crimes, uh, but then I would incriminate myself. So um, that'll be enough of that. <laughs> I know nothing. I'm not saying yeah. anything. Um, so how did you get started modeling? Back when I was a kid, I used to walk down to the TGNY and yeah. At that time, I think they were they were selling um, they were selling one seven hundredth ship kits, and I was building those. And of course, I I was a kid, uh, eight years old, and I wasn't doing a whole lot of painting. And if I did, it was with a brush. Uh, and so I'd build those, and then every once in a while, I'd build an airplane, and then oh. I, I was building some armor there and then I got out of it for a few years. Um, got back into it in my 20s and then was building nothing but aircraft. Um, then got out of it again and then just recently here within the last few years got back into it. But there was a huge 25 year gap between the that I quit to the time I started now. Yeah. So were you, i just curious now thinking about it. So were you building when you were in the Air Force or not? I was. You did, okay. Yeah, I was building, uh, I was building mainly monogram and hobby craft because that's what the hobby place uh, had. I was going to the one here in Moreno Valley in California. Right. And then when I got shipped off to Albuquerque, they had a pretty good place down there, um, but theirs was, it was mainly hobby craft and monogram. And the last thing I the last thing I was building when I quit was the HE one hundred and eleven, and then I finally finished it like twenty five years later. You had it all these years later and finished it. That's pretty amazing <laughs> <laughs> to me. To me because well it was it was one of those when i pulled it out of the box it's like you know what i got to get this done before i start buying more stuff so that's 
I just, it was kind of a personal thing. I had to get it done. You're much more focused than I am. <laughs> I'm kind of, when you're like, yeah, I, this, and I'm not building anything else until I finish this. Yeah, yeah. I started it 30 years ago, but so what? <laughs> I had to throw it in the trash a long time ago. But anyway. <laughs> um, uh, so what keeps you interested? What's that? What keeps you interested? Keep keep building. Oh. Huh. Really, it's it's something to do. Um, I could be doing worse things. Yeah. Uh, it, it's um, the the people in the hobby keep me interested because through like for example through you I've met other people right. and those are really nice guys and you know if i have a problem with something i can always bounce it off of them and they'll say hey did you try this and it's just a, lo a lot of friends out there um a lot of good people in this hobby right. and they're they're uh i don't know it's they're 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 a lot it's a lot easier to get them to come forward with more you know with with information uh right. on the hobby whereas uh used to be i was in the motorcycle industry and when you would talk to somebody about their bike they didn't really want to tell you what they had done to their bike because it was really competitive right. uh but in uh, the hobby industry it's nothing like that so i was gonna ask you is this cheaper than racing motorcycles uh it, it's yeah, still is. <laughs> I mean, I had a really good connection for the, the motorcycles, but uh, it, it's still <laughs> it's still cheaper. All right. Um, uh, are you comp a competitive modeler? Um, you're going to be. <laughs> yeah, I never actually competed, uh, but I do plan on going to Vegas this year for the Nats. Yeah. Um, I'm going to participate. I've decided I'm going to participate and not compete. Uh, so there's that. Now, yeah. uh, as for the only person I have to really beat is myself. Right. Yeah. No, that's great. That's yeah. And that's, that's, you know, I, I, I compete, but I guess, I mean, I'm the same way. I'm not really competitive it's it's i'm just going to hang out and geek out it's geek yeah. fest, you know and and, yeah. and talk to people and, and excuse me talk to friends and and sometimes you find a really good deal on something you don't need <laughs> and and so of course you all of a sudden hey i need that no you don't <laughs> but you're gonna buy it anyway well i, I I didn't plan on doing much there except for, you know, paying for the hotel room and whatever food. And then uh, my wife, she plans on blowing our whole savings there. <laughs> I said, well, you know, we don't actually have to spend all this money. And she said, <laughs> yes, we do. So, yes, we do. That's what we saved it for. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what she's doing. She's, she's putting money in there like every month in the savings account just for this just she's for excited that. she's more excited than i am that's good that's good you know my wife's just gonna gonna just hang out she's going but well provided she can get the time off but, um so what's your favorite subject matter oh it's 148 <laughs> we, can't really, we can't really see exactly what's up there but i'll tell everybody it's like all 148 scale World War II Luftwaffe stuff. Yeah, it pretty much is. <laughs> for the recon Mustang that's in there somewhere. Yeah, I have a, I got a recon Mustang that I was going to build. Uh, eventually I'm gonna get around to building. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do that was because somebody back in World War II who happened to be related to me through about three different cousins, uh, he was actually, uh, he was actually an ace uh, with like eight kills. Um, so I was going to build that. And then I got a, I got a 
F4 up there, Wild Weasel. That's kind of a nostalgia build because I built that way back when, 90, I don't know, the mid, mid to early 90s, I built that. Um, I saw one on online and I just scooped it up and it's collecting dust like most of the rest of the stuff. <laughs> But it, it's it's a lot of BF 109s and Fock Wolf 190s, uh, a lot of those. Um, and then I, I can't turn down the uh, HE 111s uh, for some reason. The last one only took me 25 years to build. Um, so I got about eight of those now. Uh, but yeah, that's it's mainly just 148th World War II Luftwaffe. Yeah. That, that. Uh, Eight, eight yeah. of those HE111s will take you a while. Yeah. Well, every you know, you always get that one guy who asks you, well, why do you only build Luftwaffe? And it's um, it's kind of the same answer I give them when they ask me, you know, in Star Wars, the Rebel Alliance or the Empire. It's, it's the Empire. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just I always tell my kids, Darth Vader's the bad guy. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> um, let's see here. So do you, uh, you're a one kid at a time guy, right? I am. Yeah, you don't build, you're not crazy like me where you got 14 things going on. And I think it's interesting because I, it's, it's like I said before, you get very focused on the one and um your um this is just my observation so tell me if i'm wrong but you're very um you're gonna finish that dang thing if it kills you you're that kind of guy yeah you know you'll 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 uh, take that take one of the, take a five dollar swap beat monogram g10 and and i'm finishing it one way or the other i'm finishing it uh, <laughs> you know something could have gone totally wrong and it's like you know, it's at the $3 kit and it's like, no, nah, I'm finishing it one way or the other, which is good, which is good. I have not thrown a kit away yet. I have, I've had some disastrous things happen to a kit. Um, and I've, I've pulled it from the brink of disaster and actually turned it into something that looked good. Uh, have one that is in the box that I put back in the box, but I, I still, I know exactly where it is. And one of these days I'm going to pull it apart and build it right. Uh, just right now with this Vegas thing coming up, I figured it would be best if I just moved on. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 I, I want to finish one before I start on the next uh, or else then I'll get 200 boxes up there full of already started kits and, my wife's not going to get as much money for them when I kick, you know, if, if they've already been started. So, yeah. 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 Um, what are you working on now? I am working on a gaggle of BF109 E3s. Uh, I got an E4 in there somewhere. I have, I'm trying to knock out as many as I, I can. For Vegas, um, going to just build a bunch of them and take the good-looking ones uh, with us, and then, uh, like I said, participate because I, I, I see the problems I'm seeing with them. I'm like, sure, well, somebody else is going to see the same problem, so uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to be very competitive, but I'm just going to I'm going to come with a few kits. Right. Um, and it, it's, it's a kit that I built a few times. Uh, so I just picked what I knew most. Uh, yeah, no, that's, and a that good was, that's a good strategy. That's, a, that's, that's really the best strategy is do what you know and, and, and do it the best you can and, and, and not plan on anything, not, no expectations. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's gonna be, you know, if it's going to be what they're thinking, they're thinking 3,500, 4,000 entries. 
well, that's that's where I got that from. I got that from you, and you said you were you're going to take everything and expect nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm well, I'm doing the same thing. I'm I'm building a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to take the the cream of the crop, and and you know, except for except for this beast, um, you know, that's going one way or the other. But um, and that being the B twenty nine for those who don't know. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, yeah, and you know, and that, and that's um, it's it's it's. When was the last time? The last one I went to, I think, was the one here in Colorado, in 2013, and it was pretty big. It's 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 crazy. It's amazing. It's it's there's so much, so much stuff there that's so so good, and the the youth stuff has gotten so much better, like the preteen and the teenager stuff that it's like i don't even want to compete against them <laughs> but you know and it and it's it's a whole well i don't want to get off on a tangent but it's I'm, i've got a video that i'm planning on doing about um the rules and stuff and and what they actually look for and it's not what most people think it is um so yeah, I just plan on building it, try to build it clean. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to keep it clean and go from there. Yeah. Research. How are you a research nut like I am? Or, you know, at one time I was not. Back in the day, I, I really didn't care. I, I just I grabbed whatever paint looked close and I would go with that. Uh, but now I am. For the most part, not really bad, but for for the kits I'm building now, I want to I want to get them right. Um, I got feelers out there on the internet right now to send me pictures of a certain plane, just because I want to make sure the spinner is the right color. Uh, it's a uh, well, it, if you're just building for yourself like I do a lot of my stuff, I'm, I'm not really worried about the research, but these, these kits that I'm building right now for this up and coming, uh, uh, old competition that I want to make sure that they're at least close. Right. Um, right. That, well, if you, if you post anything that, uh, you have on the internet, uh, Facebook, uh, I'll, I'll post a picture on Facebook and there's, always half a dozen guys waiting for me to slip up uh, <laughs> they, they sit around reading books about bf 109s and fox wolves and and they just wait for me to slip up and uh, well you know they, they, they they'll you build it out of the box and you throw some decals on it, it looks really sharp you post a picture and then there's that guy that says well you know back in june of 43 they didn't run that uh particular rf antenna um and i'm right. like oh really my <laughs> answer to that is always i don't care <laughs> it's like a buzz kill <laughs> it's like i don't care but i did that 109e1 that airfix kit and i did the the uh the um condor legion markings on it and and i was an e1 or three e3 anyway Somebody popped in and was like, um, those markings aren't right for an E1 or whatever it was. And I'm like, I know, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, but that's me. You know, I don't, I honestly don't. It, I, I have, uh, I've decided that from now on when I post something online, um, my response is just gonna be so, you know, <laughs> with so, question mark. so, so. Uh, What's your point? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, that's that's what's going to start happening. <laughs> what are your favorite hobby products? Oh, hobby products. Kits, paints, whatever. What do you got that you like, and what do you, and even what do you don't what you don't like? I mean, oh, um, the the Tamiya stuff's really good. I, I it's the shake and bake kit. It's kind of hard to screw it up. Uh, I can screw it up, uh, <laughs> right. but it, right. I usually have to go out of my way to do it. Um, 
Oh, I, I, I have some Edward, uh, Edward, uh, kits and I, I'm not really, they're, they're, they're okay, but I, I, I don't think personally, I don't think that the Edward kits are as good as the Tamiya for fit. Um, I'm really, I'm really impressed with those kits. Um, other products, oh, paint, and uh, I, I, nothing could beat Model Masters enamel, but yeah, that's yeah. going the way of gone the way of the dodo. Right. Uh, so I got what seems like a million other paint manufacturers over here. And uh, half of them I haven't even used. I'm just buying up a bunch of stuff when I think it's going out of stock that it, and it's not coming back. Uh, yeah. It's kind yeah. of sad a lot of this stuff is, is doing that. I mean, when, when I found out that there was no tester's dull coat to be found, I immediately jumped in the car and ran down to the local hobby shop and bought them out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I found some a couple of days ago, but I don't know, $6 a can or something. I was like, ah, you know, I'm going to have to find something else eventually. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, we're, I, you know, a lot of us are, a lot of us are in the same boat and it's, 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 I guess what I'm thinking is, you know, it's like we're all trying to find something that's going to work for us, but we all know it's not going to be as good as what we had. <laughs> you know, it's like we got to move on, but it's, you know, we're not going to necessarily find another model master now. And honestly, for the, the acrylics for me are working out good because I got no, I don't have a whole lot of ventilation in this hole now. Um, um, I'm just playing around with the stuff until I get it right. Eventually yeah. I'll get it. I like the model air stuff, but it, it, you know, it rubs off really easy. So yeah. I clear coat it. I get it on and I put a clear coat on it immediately, <laughs> you know, because. Yeah. I noticed that uh, the, um, the model master acrylic does the same thing. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. I, I noticed that. Um, so I just, I'm trying not to touch it after I, I shoot the color. Right. Not to touch it as much. Right. But it, 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 it when you scuff it and you, you start seeing the, the primer underneath. Yeah, it's kind of aggravating. <laughs> um, how would do you describe your building style? Oh, my building style. Yeah, you're meticulous. <sighs> yeah, sometimes too, too much. Um, that it drives me crazy and I'll pull stuff apart. And of course, I, after I pull it apart, it, it, it'll look worse than, than it did when it was wrong. Um, but as for, I, I tried to just do a kit. I, I built the, that Ravel Stuka. I figured, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slam this thing together and and try to enjoy myself. And about halfway through it, I was in there and I was getting rid of uh, oh ejection marks, sink marks. I was getting rid of this, getting rid of that, and I had to stop myself because I said when I went into it, thinking, "Okay, I'm gonna slam this together and enjoy myself." And I was that wasn't a very enjoyable kit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like three bucks to swap me. Yeah, yeah. I, I spent more time uh, 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 correcting stuff, and and by the time I was done, I oh, I just shot a paint so that right. now I got two different color paints on the the damn thing, and I'm surprised I took a picture of it and put it on the internet. Uh, you know, and your friends are you're all your friends are all like, "Hey, man, looks great," and they're probably sitting in the background going, "God, what did he do?" <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. So let's see here. So, are you? What part of the process do you like the most? Are you? 
you know, I always, in my head, I always kind of divide people up into builders and painters um, because they're really two different things, you know, and, and I think most people nowadays are painters, you know, but I don't know, what's your... Well, you know, I used to love to paint, but then when I got back into the hobby, um, I would have to drag all my paint stuff outside to paint. Yeah. And it got to be a pain in the butt. But now that I'm using the, uh, but right now it's building is, is, is the most enjoyable part. But now that I'm using more and more of the acrylics, um, okay. and then every once in a while, I'll still use a rattle can of, of lacquer. And for some reason, my wife enjoys the smell. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it, right now, it's it's mainly the building. Uh, painting there for a while got to be a real pain in the butt because you got to drag the compressor, all your supplies. Then you finally get all set up and you realize you left something in the room. So I had to go back into the room. And so eventually painting will, will it'll come back. But, uh, out. but right now, mainly the building. Right. Um. Do you have any idols or mentors in the hobby? You know, not really. Um, mentors would be uh, guys like you. Um, <laughs> you poor man. I know. Uh, I've watched some of Brett's Thank video. You. <laughs> uh, I, I see, a, I, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. Uh, there, there's a ton of people out there on, on YouTube and they make it look so easy. Uh, yeah. I've recently watched a couple videos from uh, uh, Lee Fogel um, on. Oh, he was doing videos. Yeah, he he's gonna start. He sent me some stuff he hasn't posted, oh. uh, but it's just minor minor things. Um, but idols, I, I really don't have anything. Um, and you you guys were you you talk about. Um, is it Shep Payne? Yes. And and I know his stuff from from way back when. Uh, but when I was a kid, um, I I really wasn't into it as probably as much as you guys were. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't have really any idols. But as for mentors, it's just my my peers uh, who put out some really good stuff, yeah. and I can learn from them. Uh, and hopefully I can put out some decent stuff. Yeah. You were racing motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> huh. um, I just, I don't know why when you were talking about that, 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 that Commodore 64 Midway game popped into my head. <laughs> wow. That, that, that was a, uh... That game, and there was another one. There was uh, B1 Bomber, and it was all. Yeah, I don't think you played that one with us, but that that midway midway game, I remember that one. I can't uh, imagine. My, I, I can't imagine what my kids would think. Oh, here's a video game from, you know, it's like, it's a well, blue screen with white numbers on it, Dad. Yeah, I know. It, you remember that's all it was was just a bunch <laughs> of pluses and minuses across the screen. Yeah. And then the the ships were uh, or the fleets were uh, asterisks, yeah, with like Task Force Seventeen written next to it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's all the game was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you could ask for any kit or tool or or anything from a manufacturer, what would it be? Ah, uh, the the. And it's and it's not even Luftwaffe, um, the one a one forty eight a real one forty eight version of the C one uh, C one nineteen yeah. flying box car. Uh, they they flew those out of uh, the local airport here for fire attack uh, back in the seventies when I was a kid. I used to go down there with my mom and watch them fly in and out of there. And uh, I, I was looking for one a long time ago, and when I realized nobody actually builds one i've yet to figure that out to this day uh yeah. i guess you can buy a um 
Oh. You can buy a 172nd. It already does a 70 seconds go on, yeah. Yep. And then uh, you can buy some. Oh, there's a. Uh, oh, I can't even think of the process right now. It's a uh, vacuum form. Yeah. Yeah. The, the vacuum form. You can buy like a vacuum, like vacuum form bottle kit. for somebody. Yeah. I think if you can find it. Um, but I, I, think I, think I, Gil Hodges, I think Gil Hodges built one of those. A few years ago in a vacuum farm yeah i it's something uh i wouldn't want to want to build uh but if they inject if they use the injection mold on a uh, on one of those I, I would buy it right up well that kind of ties right in the next question which is you know about 3d printing what do you think about 3d printing well you know being able to print a, a 48 scale c119 is maybe not that far off you know, with the, with the resin with the resin printers and stuff that they have now, and the prices are coming down so low, and and the you know at least two hundred two hundred fifty dollar resin printers are producing. Brett and I were talking about this last night. Are, are producing actual quality usable stuff. You know, the filament printers or whatever they're called. I really don't know that much about it, but the filament printers. You know, you get those striations and stuff. And you got to sand it all out and putty it. You know, yeah. and, stuff, and that's that's gone now you know and and the, you're you're actually getting stuff that those resin things those the, like i said the inexpensive printers are doing like point like 25 microns or something i mean they're just really there's know. a there's a guy in one of the groups he he just bought recently uh I was, it was under 300 dollars um he's downloading all these files to print out figures and stuff like that some of it looks pretty good um yeah i don't know i don't know what the cost of the resin is though uh i but, hear it's uh, not bad but i don't know you know look like uh probably like almost everybody else i would be at the mercy of whoever is designing the stuff yeah um yeah i'm not i'm not willing at this point in my life to learn something new yeah, I, I I would love to be able to, but there are guys that take years to learn CAD, and um, I'm waiting for the the day where I can take I can take a kit, build it, put it in there, scan that kit, and then it reproduce it inside the the. I, I guess they do have three D scanners. Yeah. But they're they cost more than the three D printers. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's. I'm waiting for that day that all that becomes affordable. Then you can you can print it or you could scan it into like a game or something. Is that what you're thinking? Well, no. Scan it into a file that I can print it. Oh. You know. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you could duplicate it yeah basically copy it you know if if i need uh you know if i need wheels for something uh i can take oh, you're talking about parts okay that makes sense yeah, yeah i gotcha i gotcha yeah, yeah no, well, I, I, got, I got that planet models uh conversion kit for the um the bf 109 z and yeah. i'm afraid to use it because it's like if you go on uh, scalemates, there's there's only like I, I think there's only like one or two people out there, and one of them's me that has it. So yeah. <laughs> it, you know, I, I believe it's a defunct company right now, uh, and I, I'm afraid to use it. But I'd love to be able to copy it and use it. You know, that's an interesting thing. Is and and I think we've all gone through that. Is you have something like that and it's it's you know it's irreplaceable and it's got some value to it and it's like i don't really i really you know you're so afraid that you're going to mess it up that you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to use it like you're saying yeah. and, and, and i you know i finally just realized or got to the point where you know what i'm probably going to screw it up but i'm going to do it anyway 
<laughs> you well, that's, know, what, that's what I should think. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, there's there's a friend here in town that that does resin. Well, I've I've seen he can do resin. I haven't seen any of his resin work, but. One of these days, I had to ask him, you know, if he could just uh, repop it and and uh, see what it looks like. That way, I can actually enjoy it, and I can put the original parts up on an altar or a shrine somewhere. <laughs> right, right. So, do you have like a playlist while you're building, or? You know, some people sit around and drink beer, and some people listen to music, and some people watch TV. I mean, I probably have done all of them. Yeah, I, you know, long ago I used to sit there and I would drink beer while I, and and watch. Oh, uh, I think I watched the Goofy movie like ten times in one day while I was building and drinking beer. Uh, but now it's mainly I I I don't drink anymore, so I'm either. I have the PlayStation going on in the background. Yeah. Uh, I'm either watching anime or I'm playing PlayStation games at the same time while I'm, you know, if I paint something, well, I can do something on the PlayStation while it's drying. Uh, I, I do that. And then um, I, I don't like to really get something I'm interested in going in the background because I can only, these days I can only give my attention to one thing. What you uh, mean? <laughs> I know so what you're... while I'm doing something or if I'm, <laughs> even, I, I can't do two think about two things at the same time. Like I used to be able to, when I was young. Uh, right. And so as soon as I think about something, whatever's playing on the TV is it, gone. It's like, it wasn't even there. So nice. I'll do a lot of rewinding. Uh, but so I don't try to watch something I really want to watch while I build. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I'm the same way. I, I, I like to listen to like podcasts and stuff, but um, especially, you know, if I'm out my out working with my wood tools and stuff out the garage or whatever, I, I don't got the saw going or I'll have music going out there or, or a book on audio book or something. But when I like fire up a tool and I'm getting ready to put my fingers into something, it's like, I turn it, I turn it off. Yeah, because it's like I don't need anything distracting. You know, I've run my fingers through sauce before. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never cut any of them off, but I cut parts of them. Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm the same way. You know, I I used to have something going, like you're saying, and then and and I had no recollection of it whatsoever. It's like, what's the point? You know? Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I, I, I know that you're, you listen to a lot of music and I got to thinking, it's like, when is the last time I actually listened to music? And I love music. I got, I, you still got all your old stuff. I got all my old stuff and it's in boxes somewhere. Uh, yeah. I haven't bought a, a, a CD in years and I haven't. Can you? Downloaded. I think the last thing I downloaded was the complete Beatles box set, you know, off of the uh itunes right uh, but then now i got the beatles channel on serious so uh right it was kind of a wasted money spotify is my go-to that's my thing Let's think of that it's, i need to get a jukebox that that plays up to like 400 discs yeah yeah i, I, I think they make them they're about ten thousand dollars yeah. You know, I think this is a sad thing about what's good about, you know, the music on demand thing is you can get all this stuff. And I mean, I, I'm I'm actually halfway through ripping all of my CDs on a hard drive so that I can put them away. But um, um, I think the bad thing about this music on demand thing is, you know, we all know, you know, they put out a somebody put out a, an album with seven or eight songs and and if you get three songs three good songs off of that i mean hits not necessarily good but but hits that people actually recognize i mean that's doing very 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 well yeah and it's sad because there's a lot of albums out there that are just good all the way through there's yeah. some that, there's a lot that aren't <laughs> but but you know there there are albums that 
so I get so what I'm saying is, you know, how much good stuff is getting missed because nobody just puts the 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 thing on and just lets it play and listens to the whole thing. Well, I think the whole download thing, besides, you know, it started up these mainly because people were complaining because they would have to buy a whole album yeah for only one song on it or everything else was garbage on it and then uh which sometimes is true yeah yeah uh, except for our music from back in the 80s because well, there was yeah. nothing like that music yeah it was all good it was all good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so i mean the, the answer to this question is obvious do you have a stash well yeah right behind you there yeah, I do. Uh, we kind of talked about it. I, so I, you have, you have. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you have yeah. um, lots of. There's a spider in front of my camera. Um, you have lots of you. Well, you mentioned Hobbycraft. You have a lot of like the early 109s and the Hobbycraft boxes and stuff. And um, you know, like I have a lot of old monogram stuff and whatnot. So are you finding um, I, for myself, I'm finding I'm, I'm trying to think of a good term. I guess I'm less tolerant of the old stuff now that, you know, and it, I, I don't know, you know, it's still, it's like you're saying a nostalgia thing, you know, before and, and, and uh, yeah. are you going, are you kind of moving away? I'm finding myself moving away from that stuff. Yeah. I am. I back in the '90s, I would I, when I was building the monogram and the the uh, hobbycraft stuff, you'd have huge gaps and everything, and all you do is just you'd fill it with with zap, yeah, and just sit there and get drunk, watch TV, and sand at the same time. <laughs> and I, oh, I just I just would sit there and sand, and I was I was really patient. And um, then you you build a you build a Hasegawa or a, uh, a Tamiya kit and you don't get that huge gap and there's not as much sanding, if any. Right. And uh, if there is sanding, it's usually something you've done wrong. Right. Um, and then I'm thinking, I was, I was looking at all my older kits the other day. I'm like, you know, if I would have known then what I know now, I probably wouldn't have bought these kits. Um, I got a lot of duplicates that yeah. I figured, okay, I'd be, I, I was going to build them like two or three at a time. Um, now I might just build one and I'm, I'm seriously thinking about offing some of the older kits, you know, keeping, keeping the ones I have duplicates of uh, just offing right. the boxes. Right. You know, then, then I can maybe buy a newer kit. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. They're there for a time. I, I think I was cornering the market on, yeah. on early, on a lot of this early 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 German yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what advice would you give to new modelers? Oh, uh, start with a decent kit, like a Hasegawa or a, a Tamiya kit. Yeah. Start, you know, because if, if you go through what we went through and you had to do the sanding and filling and more sanding, then you probably would, it would probably turn you off. Uh, you know, and as, as for if you've already been modeling before and now you're getting back into it, I've seen a lot of guys out there um, that don't own an airbrush. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I got six airbrushes now, um, and I only use one, uh, but you can pick up an airbrush for like, you can pick up a badger airbrush for like $65 brand right. new, yeah. yeah, brand new and, uh, get a hose and go on down to, um, Harbor Freight and you can buy a small compressor for another 30 bucks or whatever that is uh, I, they're they're not that expensive now uh but yeah they sure I, used to be years ago oh wow yeah uh i i just suggest get it get an airbrush because it, it'll 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 make 
it'll make the hobby a little bit more enjoyable for you. As for, uh, I, I think you, your, your stuff would come out a lot better. Uh, and a lot of guys, they, they don't do that. They're, they just sit there and plug away with that paintbrush. Uh, you know, there's things that you can't do with a brush. I mean, I've seen some amazing brush paint jobs over the years, um, but there's things that you just can't do with a paintbrush. You got to have an airbrush, um, you know, but the, and, and honestly, I mean, I haven't seen, you know, I don't know, I don't want to get myself in trouble, but personally, I haven't seen a spectacular brush painting job in decades you know there used to be guys years ago that that could that were just amazing brush painters yeah every once in a while I'll see something on the internet the guy said oh yeah i brush painted this like wow really yeah uh, but normally <laughs> yeah. normally if you brush paint it you you can tell uh, yeah it, um but I mean, I, I didn't want to sound like I was being trying to be condescending, uh, you know, about, but I think uh, your stuff would look a lot better if you just, you know, picked up the yeah. air. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not as, as hard as, as sometimes it seems, but yeah, 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 yeah. Um, finally, where can we see Jeff's stuff? Oh, I have two Facebook accounts under my name, Jeff Steffen. Uh, uh, you want the one, um, you don't want the personal one because that's where you get all the uh, the, the cat videos. Uh, you know. <laughs> Go to the one that is, uh, has got a nickname of a noob does models. Uh, that's where you can find my stuff. You're going to have to give me a little bit of time because I have to go in there and delete the pictures of the Stuka. <laughs> but it's mainly just on Facebook. The stuka behind the curtain. <laughs> What's that? I said, ignore the stuka behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 Awesome. Right. Thanks for joining me. Um, well, thanks for thanks for having me. Yeah, no, no, it's great. It's great. I'm. I'm. You know. I think the, these are fun for just just us dorks out here just putting this stuff together and and you know there's so much i don't want to say like high grade professional commercial stuff out there whatever but you know it's it's nice and at least for me and from what i've heard it's nice for people just to have hey those are just like regular guys talking about regular model building <laughs> uh, yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. and you know the the vast the, um, so anyway, so that said, hey, if anybody out there wants to, to, to be on the show, um, you go to the shutterace.com website and there is a form that you fill out and ask you a bunch of interview questions and it gets emailed to me and then I will contact you and schedule um, if, you're, if you're so inclined. Um, the only thing we ask is that you realize this is a G-rated show. <laughs> because believe it or not kids watch this i don't know why but they do um so yeah so anyway yeah thanks jeff thanks thanks for joining me and um uh i'll see you somewhere i'm sure probably in a couple sure. hours or something yeah at least a couple <laughs> all right man take it easy all right later bye